you fail at UO Razor. This is the second installment where we're going to cover the options tab. Your first feature you can enable is your Age of Shadows status window. This is the Age of Shadows status window. It has useless things like luck and poisons resistance. If you dislike this, enabling your pre-AOS status window will allow you to use your different status bar. So where we log. And this is your pre age of shadow status window. Your Q last target and self target is if you use multiple spells, they'll queue them in order so that you don't get a big client lag. Your block dismount in war mode obviously blocks your dismounting mount in war mode. Your auto stack or fish logs. If you're fishing, these will auto stack at your feet rather than your backpack. So if you don't want to get overloaded, they'll just drop to your feet. Open new corpses is an interesting feature. Uh, it's handy for looting quickly when you're PVMing or even PVPing. When a new corpse falls at your feet or within X amount of tiles, it'll automatically open without having to click it. Filter repeating system messages, uh, system messages in game that repeat over and over again. Um, say you have certain in game or in server events, uh, things that happen, skill gain, etc. This will filter that from repeating. Your snooping messages are it filters, say you see Jesus Christ snooping Michael Jackson's belongings. It'll, it'll filter those from the banks or from wherever you're hanging out or macroing. Show names of incoming people creatures, show names of new corpses or incoming corpses. Uh, if you're running up to a new corpse or um, you see somebody coming, let's see, I think there's a NPC over here. It'll actually show their name before you get to them. What it does is it single clicks the corpse or single clicks the NPC before you get to them. And obviously there there she is, Lisa, the wandering healer. So it showed me before I got there that she was there. So it does the same thing for corpses. Your manual overrides for your hues. They change your system messages, your speech messages. Same thing can be done in your in your UO client options. It's pretty straightforward. You can set your spell hues so that your beneficial spells show up blue and that your harmful spells show up in red and that your neutral spells show up in gray. Like that. Now the last thing on here is your spell format your power and spell you can have other things sorting that out oh. so oh, for example vast alt flam or explosion shows you your power spell first and then your spell second um, that's unfortunate so we're gonna get back to town and cover more options in the third installment We'll see you then.